I love the food fight. What is there not to love? Throwing something at Max? The food fight I thought would get really physical. So I wanted to learn genuine self-defense. What we teach here is knees, nuts, eyes, and throat. The guy we found was like a little harder core. Is that a word? Hardcore? <laughs> he was both a hardcore and harder core. If somebody was attacking me with a carrot. Yeah. I would block it and I would drive this into his trachea. We had like carrots and some other vegetables and we asked if he would teach self-defense with those. He had me come at him and then just slam the carrot, broke it off so many times into my neck. Like he was using it like a knife and he's like, oh, I could totally kill someone with a carrot. I think food fights are ridiculous. I don't want food on my person. I want food in my mouth and that's it. My strategy for the food fight challenge was that I will have a really delicious meal that channels the zen way of cooking. You went Buddhist on us. I did. Gail's way of doing it, come on. This is supposed to be a food fight and she's trying to be like Switzerland old peas. While they were pelleting each other with lingonberry crepes and sushi, I was eating lobster over rice with caviar. I can't really throw it hard, so I'm gonna bring in an expert. Oh my god. Hi, <laughs> my friend. Hi, Marcus. I had a major league baseball pitcher, Mr. Rob Diddle, with me. My weak throws are nothing. But Rob's. Poor Max. 